Hello and welcome to Honors Chemistry Conservation of Mass Discussion. Today we're going to talk about one of the, the big laws in the universe. The universe, there are several laws that you can't break and they've been known through time. They're like the big rules. So one of the big rules is the conservation of mass. And what the conservation of mass or the conservation of matter says is at the beginning of time when the universe started we had a certain amount of matter. And at the end of time we'll have exactly the same amount of matter. The only difference is we change its uses or its forms. So whatever we started out with is what we have to end up with. You can't lose matter. You can only change its form. And so one of the things that we do in this chapter is a little bit of math. Besides this concept, there's math involved because we're going to do chemical reactions in this class and physical changes. And whatever you start out with has to be whatever you end up with. You just have to, have to account for where it goes. So I'm going to do an example from the book. And this page of the book has been scanned to Schoology and you'll be able to do the sample problems that are in the book. If you have access to the book now and it's working for you, that's great. This is on page 78 and I'm going to do the sample problem at the top. The sample problem says, in an experiment, 10 grams of red mercury 2 oxide powder is placed in an open flask and heated until it's converted to liquid mercury and oxygen gas. The liquid mercury has a mass of 9.26 grams. What is the mass of the oxygen that was formed in the reaction? So you don't really have to understand what they mean by mercury 2 oxide or even flask for that matter. You just have to know that you're starting out with one substance and they're calling this substance red mercury 2 oxide. So it's a solid and they're putting it in a flask. So I'm going to draw my version of a flask. It's weird, it looks like a nose. And there's going to be red mercury in the bottom. I don't have red chalk. But there it is in the flask. And they're saying that this is 10 grams. So that's a certain amount of mass. And they're saying that it's going to be heated. So we're going to take this flask and we're going to put it over a Bunsen burner or on a hot plate. It's going to start to be heated up and there's going to be a reaction that takes place. So that's the after portion. This is the before and afterward it's going to become something else. Afterwards it says that there's liquid mercury left in the flask and oxygen gas. Well, they said it was an open flask. So if oxygen gas is being made, we've already talked about solids, liquids, and gases, you should probably know that if they didn't cap off that flask, the oxygen gas is gonna go into the atmosphere. So what they're asking is, they can take the liquid mercury and they find the mass of that, and that turns out to be 2.6 grams. So mercury 2 oxide, it's made out of mercury and oxygen in a compound. They heat it and it becomes mercury liquid and then their oxygen gas is going to be released. And what they want to know is, what's the mass of oxygen formed in the reaction? That's what they're looking for. According to the law of conservation of mass, whatever you start out with has to equal whatever you end up with. Well, we know what the total was, and we know how much of the liquid mercury was left. So the missing part has to be the oxygen. So we simply take 10 minus 9.26, and we get 0.74. So there's 0.724 grams of oxygen gas. 0.74 plus 9.26 is the total 10 grams. The before has to equal the after. Not all the problems are exactly the same, but the concept is the same. Whatever you start out with has to be whatever you end up with. 